What is the origin of red hair and why did it develop in the first place? Now red hair is the rarest hair colour in the world, at only 2% of the world's population, and it is most common in people of Northern European ancestry at between 2 and 6%. It is most associated with Celtic countries, with Scotland and Ireland having the highest percentage of people in the world with naturally red hair. Estimates seem to vary for Scotland at between 6 and 13% of the population, with around 10% of people in Ireland having red hair. Redheads are found in other regions across the globe, however, including the Udmurt Republic of Russia, who some say possess the reddest hair in the world. Interestingly, multiple studies have now shown that people with red hair perceive pain differently than others. Redheads may be more sensitive to certain types of pain and can require higher doses of some pain-killing medications, and often need about 20% more anaesthesia to be sedated. Some studies indicate, however, that the general pain tolerance of redheads may be higher. People with red hair also respond more effectively to opioid pain medications, requiring lower doses. So this is all pretty wild to think, so why does this seem to be the case? Well, it's at least partly due to the genetic variant that causes red hair in the first place. To be more specific, redheads have a variant on the melanocortin 1 receptor, or MC1R, which is a gene located on chromosome 16, which seems to be the primary driver of red hair, although other studies have pinpointed more genes that also may play a role in whether red hair is expressed or not, but this is still being mapped. Despite other genes probably being involved, a variation on this MC1R gene is still a significant driver of red hair developing, as it controls the production of melanin, the pigment that gives skin, hair and eyes their colour. The cells that make melanin produce two forms, eumelanin and pheomelanin. People with red hair produce relatively high levels of the yellow-reddish pigment pheomelanin, which is also linked to freckles and fair skin, and relatively low levels of the dark pigment eumelanin, with this combination causing their hair to be red. One study used a strain of red-haired mice that carry the same MC1R variant also found in people with red hair, and they found that those mice with the red-haired gene variant had a higher pain threshold than the other mice. Stereotypes of redheads also suggest that they are a bit hot-headed, but this hasn't been proven from my understanding. The moral of the story in general, however, is never pick a fight with a redhead. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe? You must be a weasley. Now let's look at the genetic inheritance model of people with red hair. In general, red hair is considered a recessive trait, meaning that you need to inherit the same copy of the same gene from both parents in order to have red hair. People can carry the genetic variant for red hair without it being expressed and without them even knowing, and then if they have a child with another carrier who also may not be aware that they have this genetic variant, a redhead baby can appear seemingly out of nowhere. It is estimated that around 40% of the Scottish population carry the red hair gene variant, for instance, but as noted earlier, only between 6 and 13% of the Scottish population actually have red hair. And on the topic of Scotland, the popular Gaelic name Ruri means Red King. Out of interest, do you have red hair? Please let me know in the comments below. Now I should quickly note, before we move on to the origins of red hair and also the reasons for red hair, that both the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans described the ancient Celts as being redheads to a large degree, and the Romans extended this description to Germanic people. Some ancient Greek sources also describe some of the Thracians, who inhabited parts of Southeast Europe in the ancient world, as having red hair and blue eyes, and some of the Tara mummies found in present-day China also had red hair. Now that we have a better understanding of red hair, what about its origins? Where did it originate from, and who was the first person who had red hair? Well, the first thing to note is that the genetic variant involved seems very, very old. Research from the early 2000s indicated that the gene variation could go back around 100,000 years ago. Common estimates of how old the variant is is usually somewhere between 30 and 80,000 years ago, however, and it seems that red hair potentially could have first emerged in Central Asia. I would say that more research is needed into this, as there doesn't seem massive amounts of evidence proving this, but Central Asia, for now, seems to be the origin of red hair. It seems as well that red hair isn't just a feature of Homo sapiens, as a 2007 paper found a genetic mutation in the MC1R gene in two Neanderthal remains. One was a 43,000 year old Neanderthal from Spain, and the other a 50,000 year old specimen from Italy. Now the precise mutation in the gene is different than the ones we see in modern humans, but the result could have been the same. In essence, the results indicated that some Neanderthals could have had red hair, 
which is a pretty interesting thought. I will quickly note as well that just last year, scientists discovered the first evidence of the pheomelanin pigment in a 10 million year old frog fossil. Now what are some of the reasons as to why red hair developed in the first place? Is it simply the result of a genetic mutation, or are there other reasons out there that explain the development of red hair, and why it is so common in Northern Europe versus other parts of the world? Well, one point to note is that people with naturally red hair usually also have lighter skin as well, and some argue that both of these traits could have co-evolved together to some degree. In general, one of the main theories as to why lighter skin developed is because it is more efficient at making vitamin D from sunlight, hence why lighter skin tends to develop in northern climates. Now I have heard some people seem to argue that red hair may help the body make more vitamin D from sunlight directly, but from my understanding, red hair and hair in general doesn't increase vitamin D absorption at all, and this argument makes little sense to me. However, the development of lighter skin probably allowed for the genetic variant that causes red hair to develop and be selected for over time, so there probably is some indirect connection there. After all, people with lighter skin have relatively low levels of the eumelanin pigmentation, as do people with red hair as noted earlier. Others argue on the other hand that red hair is simply a random genetic mutation and the fact that it is more common in people of North European ancestry is simply a matter of chance. If this is the case however, why do not more people in Africa have naturally red hair? Why is it such a phenotype that is common in people of North European ancestry? Overall though, I would say that red hair is most common in people of North European ancestry, probably because the environment allowed for this genetic variant to be selected for over time, that produces this ratio of eumelanin versus pheomelanin. After all, people in Northern Europe don't need as high levels of eumelanin to protect their skin from UV radiation from the sun, compared to much hotter places in the world, such as Africa. And we know that people with red hair have this ratio of relatively high levels of the reddish pigment, pheomelanin, and relatively low levels of the dark pigment, eumelanin, causing their hair to be red. Yet there probably is an element of genetic randomness involved as well, as blonde hair is also characterised by low levels of eumelanin, although there is a different genetic mechanism involved in blonde hair developing. But the point is, why do some people with low levels of eumelanin develop blonde hair, whilst others develop red hair? Obviously people with red hair seem to have higher levels of pheomelanin than people with blonde hair from my reading of the research, but from the perspective of the climate and the environment, it doesn't seem that there is any advantage to having blonde versus red hair, as skin pigmentation determines your ability to make vitamin D, not hair colour. Perhaps sexual attractiveness plays a role in blonde versus red hair, but that may be a subject for another time. Speaking of blonde hair, what is the origin of blonde hair and why did it develop in the first place? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.